Humanity is on a collision course with carefully balanced natural systems that have kept our planet livable for millennia. Every day, all of us live in diverse environments enabled by the complex, interconnected systems that support life on Earth. These are the major components of the Earth's system and their interlinked processes that, when working together, make our planet habitable. They keep our land fertile, our oceans healthy, our air clean and our climate stable. These global commons underpin the planet's life support systems and human well-being on Earth. But humans are pushing them out of balance and at risk of coming close to dangerous tipping points in the Earth's system. Push them too far and they could irreversibly shift from supporting life on Earth to undermining it. So what is our safe and just operating space? What are the boundaries within which us humans must learn to maneuver? The Earth Commission, as, a, as an independent international global science mechanism, is also quite forward-leaning, even though its, its objective is entirely to, to synthesize a state of knowledge in, in published research. It intends to be highly policy and, and relevant for action, so that it should be able to serve also our ability to go from focusing at best only at climate, but also to take on the broader biosphere climate, the whole nature climate agenda, which is, as we know, a necessity if we are truly talking about sustainable development. The App Commission has done um, fantastic work um, on understanding aspects related to boundaries and what boundaries should be set and how we can bring ourselves back into a safe and just, you know, operating boundary space. The vision that we set out was really to have an interdisciplinary full assessment of the planet for the first time, to be able to get all the, the physical sciences from oceanography, climate science, ecology, hydrology, land systems, but also invite the social sciences to make um, a, an effort of quantifying a safe and just operating space for humanity on Earth. In 2019, Future Earth brought together a group of leading global scientists from the social and natural sciences to form the Earth Commission. Created as the scientific cornerstone of the Global Commons Alliance, they set out to define safe and just boundaries for planet and people to inform the next generation of sustainability targets. After three years of research, the Earth Commission published the Safe and Just Earth System Boundaries, which identify the minimum conditions needed for the Earth and everything that lives on it to thrive. Well, one of the main things I've been working on for the Earth Commission is this, uh, the problem of climate tipping points. This idea that there could be these self-sustaining changes in the climate system beyond certain warming levels, that once they start, they won't stop, they become irreversible. And the thing that's emerged is how close we are to some of those. And what I found really quite eye-opening is just how many people are now in harm's way because of climate change. At 1.2 degrees of warming, and as we approach 1.5 degrees of warming soon, hundreds of millions of people are already at risk of significant harm from climate change. You can't treat climate change distinctly and as if it does not relate to biodiversity, as if that does not relate to land, water, oceans, etc. So what we're trying to give is a message about the interlinkages between all these different environmental issues. And on the other hand, we're trying to link all these environmental issues to social issues. How does this massive interconnected environmental problem or the poly crisis affect human health and well-being? How does it affect people's access to clean water, clean air, uh, to resources? And how does it affect the allocation of resources between people worldwide? If you look at the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Synthesis Report, the figure that's absolutely everywhere shows changes in projected temperature over the century, and it has people on it. It shows the different kinds of exposures people can expect depending on when they're born. And that's really resonated. It's different from seeing massive increases in temperature under higher emission pathways to seeing that it affects me. It affects my family, it affects my children, my grandchildren. 
and that narrative shift has been really important. Through its unique, cross-disciplinary work, the Earth Commission brought humans to the heart of climate and sustainability action and justice to the forefront. The Safe and Just Earth System Boundaries is a roadmap for cities, businesses and other actors to course-correct human activities to a safe and just operating space. It's science for guiding action.